During episode 23 of the 2011 Hunter x Hunter anime adaptation, Gon, Kurapika, and Leo Rio decided to get some training done in order to fairly pass through the testing gates of the Zoldic estate. And in this video, I'm going to explain how the anime massively improved the way this part of the story was originally presented in the manga. How's it going everyone? My name is David and welcome back to another anime vs manga for Hunter x Hunter. So far, the anime has done an incredible job at improving the original source material by reworking certain parts of the story to make them more memorable, and the testing gate training was no different. The anime made it a point to focus on teamwork with the way in which it showed Kurapika and Leo Rio trying to open the gate shortly after accepting to be trained by Zebro, who was one of the servants for the Zoldix. And after initially failing to open the testing gate, Kurapika and Leo Rio were shown afterwards trained together, while Gon was secretly training as well even though his arm was still healing from being broken. After this, the anime ties this training montage together by showing that Kurapika and Leo Rio were able to open the testing gates a little bit, but then Gon helps them open the testing gates the rest of the way after revealing that his arm was fully healed. This was such a massive improvement over the manga because it showed that this trio could overcome any challenge that may be ahead of them together through teamwork, which was a good message to end on. While in the manga, this part of the story was completely different. So according to the manga, Zebra suggested that the group take a month to train so that they could become stronger and be able to open the testing gates by themselves. But Leo Rio was the first person to be able to open the first gates by himself, and it took him about two weeks to open it. And it was even mentioned that he managed to open the second gate as well, which is an amazing feat to think about, since Leo Rio is not typically known for his physical strength in this series. As for how Gon and Kurapika did, the manga did confirm that they opened the first gate as well, but the manga never shown it, which is why I was dissatisfied with how the manga presented this part of the story, since these accomplishments could have been presented in a much more momentous fashion. If there's one thing though that I liked about the way in which the manga presented the testing gate training is that it was much more clear about how much time this training took since the anime made it seem like everyone completed this intense training in a matter of days. This is all important information to me because it puts into context how long Kilo was being tortured by his family while Gon, Kurapika, and Leo Rio were off training. Regardless, I still do think that the anime massively improved the testing gate training by setting it up through a typical training montage and then ending it with a great message about the importance of teamwork, which is why I will be giving one point to the anime today. If you're one of the few people who made it to the end of this video, then you have my sincerest thanks and gratitude for all of your support. And if this is the first video you've ever watched on this channel, then how about you take a look at the first video for this Hunter x Hunter anime vs manga series where I talk about the biggest mistake the anime made during its first episode. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.